What I like most about Tangem is that you can pretty much do everything in the Tangem app. And in this video, I wanna show you how to swap any crypto using the Tangem app. And for those tokens that aren't available to swap in Tangem, I wanna show you a simple workaround in this video. And I know there's a lot of questions about swapping crypto using your Tangem wallet, such as are there any fees? Can you swap without KYC? And can you do cross-chain swaps? So I'm going to answer all of those questions plus more as I take you through this simple swap process. Also, if you're looking to get your first Tangem wallet, maybe a second Tangem wallet, or maybe one of Tangem's new products, make sure to use a 10% off discount code in the description of this video. Let's get into it. First things first, I wanna point out that Tangem uses third-party crypto exchanges to carry out these swaps. So just because your Tangem wallet may support holding a certain token, doesn't mean that you'll be able to swap it using the Tangem app. So you're really limited to whatever these exchanges offer. Now, the easiest way to find out if Tangem is going to let you swap the tokens that you wanna swap is to just try it out. So for this tutorial, I'm going to swap Tether USDT for ETH on the Ethereum network. So notice this is a cross-chain swap but the process is the same regardless of whether you're doing a cross-chain swap or a swap on the same chain. Really, all you have to do is press buttons and the exchange takes care of everything else for you, so it's super simple. Now, to get started, you just want to open up the Tangem app, and again, I wanna swap Tether. Right here, you can see I have quite a bit of Tether in my wallet, and I want to swap it for Ethereum, so I'm going to tap on Tether, and then just tap this swap button, now notice when I go to this down here, and this is a crypto that I wanna swap to, there's only Tron and Bitcoin as options. And that's because we haven't added Ethereum to my tokens page yet. So you wanna go back to the home screen and then just go down here and tap this manage tokens button. And you can search for the token that you wanna swap to or that you wanna add to your tokens page. But Ethereum is right here at the top. So you just tap on that. And I want to swap to ETH on the mainnet, not Solana. So I'm just going to enable Ethereum mainnet and then tap save changes. And now when we go back to Tether and hit that swap button again, you'll notice that Ethereum is now an option. So I can now swap Tether to Ethereum. And I wanna swap $50 worth of USDT to Ethereum and you'll see that I'm going to get $47 worth of Ethereum, which is equal to 0.01 ETH. Now let's talk about fees for a second. You'll notice there are two separate fees that you're going to have to pay. And to be clear, Tangem does not charge any fees to do the swap. The first fee is carried out by the third party crypto exchange that is doing the swap. And this fee generally ranges from one to 3.5%. So let's say you're swapping $100 worth of crypto and there is a 1% fee. You're going to be paying $1 for that exchange to do the swap for you. And then the second fee is carried out by whatever blockchain network you're swapping from. And since I'm swapping from the Tron network to the Ethereum network, I have to pay the transaction fee in Tron's native currency, which is TRX. So for example, if I were swapping from Ethereum to Solana, again, I'd have to pay that network fee in Ethereum's native token ETH because that is a chain that I'm swapping from. So let's say I wanted to swap or even send Polkadot on my Tangent Wallet. Since my balance is zero, you can see that the send and the swap and of course the sell buttons are grayed out because I don't have any polka dot to complete a transaction. If you don't have the network's native coin in your Tangem wallet, you can either buy it directly in the Tangem app or buy it on your preferred crypto exchange and transfer it to your Tangem wallet. If you don't know how to buy crypto in your Tangem app, make sure to check out this video right here. I'll also link it down in the description for you so that you can come back to it later. So with the network's native coin in my Tangem wallet, I'm ready to make the swap. So again, I'm going to swap Tether, for some ETH, so I'll hit Tether, hit Swap, and then I wanna choose ETH, and then just type in the amount in whatever your native currency is that you want to swap for. And then right here, you can actually change which exchange Tangem uses to carry out the swap. You can see there's uh, Changely, Change Now, and then One Inch, which is unavailable for this specific uh, swap. Now, the cool thing about Tangem is they choose the best rate for you. So I'm already getting the best rate by their defaulted crypto exchange. And then you can see right here that I'm going to get $47 worth of ETH. You can see the network fee is going to be $399. So assuming everything looks good, just go ahead, hit that swap button. And then depending how your wallet's set up, you'll have to, for me, I have to use my biometrics and then I have to scan my card. 
and that's it, the transaction has been submitted. Now, if you wanna check the progress of your transaction, you go to the crypto that you swap from, so I'm here on Tether, and you can see right here, exchange, and I just tap this, and it's going to tell me where in the process this is and what exactly I swapped. So you can see right here that the deposit has been received. Uh, right now, it's confirming it, then it will be exchanging it, and then finally, it will send all of the crypto directly to my wallet. Now I swap a lot of crypto using my Tangent wallet. I swap probably once to twice a week. And in my experience, it usually takes anywhere from one minute up to 30 minutes to see that crypto arrive in your Tangent wallet that you swap for. So don't freak out if it doesn't arrive immediately. Again, you can always check the progress uh, using that method that I just showed you. But again, it can take a while depending how busy the network is and of course the type of crypto or the network that you swapped on. This swap that I just did was actually really quick though, took under a minute. And as you can see, I now have $50 of Ethereum in my wallet. I already had a few bucks, uh, but nonetheless, it got there fairly quickly. And now I'm ready to do whatever I want with the Ethereum that I received. However, not all cryptocurrencies can be swapped in the Tangent wallet. For example, let's say I wanna swap Ethereum to a meme coin called Pepe Fork. So I'm going to go in here to my managed tokens and I'm going to type in pork, which is the token that I want to swap to. It's right here, it's on the Ethereum network. So I'm going to enable it, save changes. But now watch what happens. I go to Ethereum, I go to swap, but when I go to select Pepe fork, it tells me right here, it cannot be swapped for Ethereum. So that means I cannot swap my ETH to Pepe fork, even though the Tangent Wallet supports holding Pepe Fork, so that means I have to use another method. So basically what we need to do is connect our Tangent Wallet to a platform that will allow us to swap the crypto that we want to swap. Now there are a few ways we can do this, but the best way that I found is to connect our wallet to a decentralized exchange, also known as a DEX. A DEX is a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency marketplace similar to a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance or whatever you might use except when you use a DEX, there's no middleman. So all the transactions are carried out by smart contracts, which create a trustless transaction. And that means we don't have to go through the KYC process either. It's essentially the same process as using the Tangem app to swap your crypto, but with a few extra steps. Now there are several decentralized exchanges that you can use to swap your crypto, but my personal favorite is Pondex.com because they offer the lowest swap fees and they reward you for every swap. Now, of course, there are other DEXs that are popular, such as uniswap.app and pancakeswap.finance. So you can use whatever one you want to, but again, my favorite is pondex.com. Now, the only downside to swapping crypto with the Tangem wallet is that you can only swap Solana coins in the Tangem app because currently the Tangem wallet doesn't support connecting to the Solana network. So there is no Solana DEX that you can connect to and swap your crypto. So really you're limited to whatever you can swap in the Tangem app. So how do you connect your Tangem wallet to a decentralized exchange? Well, it's actually really simple and you can do it using either your desktop device or your phone, I mean, you have to use your phone for both because that's where your Tangent Wallet is app, but you can control the DEX using your computer or your phone. It's really just a preference, but it's ultimately the same process. Um, I'll show you how to connect it using your desktop computer, but I'm going to do this swap using my mobile device. Now, if you wanna use your computer to do the swap, go to your decentralized exchange and then tap connect wallet. And here you'll see that there is a QR code and we wanna scan this using our Tangent Wallet app. So go ahead, open up the Tangem wallet. And then from here, you wanna go up to the three little dots right here in the upper right hand corner, tap this wallet connect button, and then tap the little plus icon. And this will bring up the camera that lets you scan the QR code. See it, scan it really quickly. And then this is just a request to start a session with the decentralized exchange. So I'm going to go ahead and select start. And now if we go to the computer, I'm literally able to uh, initiate a transaction using my computer. And then of course I'll have to confirm it on the Tangem app using my Tangem wallet. But again, I'm using my phone for this example. So I'm going to go to pondex.com using my phone's browser. And then it's going to be the same thing. We'll enter the exchange. And then we want to tap connect wallet. This time we're not going to use the QR code. We want to tap wallet connect. 
And usually the tangent wallet won't pop up if you haven't used it before. So you'll want to hit V wall and then you can search for Tangem since that's the wallet obviously that we're connecting to this decentralized exchange. Um, doesn't matter which one you tap. And it should automatically pop up a message and try to open your Tangem app. If it doesn't, just click this little uh, hyperlink that says try this alternate link and that'll take you to the Tangem app. And then this message will pop up, request to start a session for Pondex. Go ahead and hit start. And then if we go back to the browser, you can see that our wallet is now connected because it shows our wallet address right here. All right, now as you can see, I can swap ETH for really any token that's on Ethereum. So let's say I wanted to swap and you just go to this search bar and I wanna swap for Pepe. So I just type in Pepe. Uh, this phone is super slow because it is one of my older phones. But again, it's going to pop up all the Pepe's that exist and then select that you want, the one that you want, and then you can swap for that. But again, I wanna swap my ETH for pork, AKA Pepe fork. So I'm going to search for that. And then I will select that token. And then just enter the amount of ETH that you wanna swap for whatever token you're swapping for. Um, you can just hit this max button if you wanna max out the ETH in your wallet and do the swap that way. Um, I'm just going to type it in 0 0.014 ETH and it's going to tell me I'm going to receive $47 worth of pork. Um, there is a 1% price impact. So that uh, receiving amount isn't guaranteed, but there could be a 1% fluctuation basically. And then you can click here to see um, some other details. You can see the network fee is going to be about $3. Um, and then the minimum output after the transaction is completed. And if all that looks good, we can go ahead and continue with the swap. So if everything looks good, go ahead and hit this review swap button. Uh, there is a warning here saying that this could result in a 6.1% price impact, which again means that this the amount of tokens that you're receiving could fluctuate by up to 6%. Um, usually if it's over 10%, I'm not going to go through with the transaction because it is just too much of a risk. I could end up losing money. Um, and it's not a guarantee that there will be a price impact this large, but it's a possibility. So I'm going to go ahead hit continue, then hit swap. And I guess before I do that, you can see uh, everything, the network fee, the potential price impact, and then the minimum output if you go through the transaction. So at the very least, we're going to receive 349 million pork tokens. Um, and the most we're going to receive is 353. And that's that 6% difference right there. So assuming you're all good with that, go ahead and hit swap. And now it says confirm in your wallet. So we need to go back to the Tangem app, open it up, biometrics, and then the message should pop up um, requesting sign and send. And this is basically just a transaction confirmation. So go ahead. It does have the transaction details, the amount of ETH, uh, the fee, and then the total ETH. So if everything looks good, go ahead, hit sign and send. And again, depending how you have your wallet set up, probably have to do biometric and you'll always have to scan your card. And once you do that, the transaction has been successfully signed and sent to the blockchain node. And that's it, your swap is complete. So when you interact directly with a decentralized exchange to do your swap, it's going to be a lot quicker than using the Tangem app because you're sending your transaction to a third party. Whereas what we just did right now is we did it peer to peer directly to the exchange with no middleman. So this really just depends on how long the network is going to take and for Ethereum transactions, generally it will take anywhere from 15 seconds upwards of one minute. So this is going to arrive in your wallet fairly quickly. So as you can see, the Pepe fork showed up in my wallet. It took about 30 seconds. I have $3.88 of ETH left. I have $44 of Pepe fork. But what if I wanna swap the Pepe fork back to ETH or even another currency? Well, I can't do that in the wallet because if I go here, see, I cannot swap Pepe fork using the Tangent wallet. So again, all we need to do is go back to the decentralized exchange um, of course, whatever exchange you want to use. And you just use these arrows right here to change what you're swapping for. So before we were swapping ETH to pork, if I tap the arrow, I'm swapping pork to ETH. 
and it's going to show me how much I will receive. Of course, you can enter whatever amount you want, um, or if you wanna swap it all, just hit the max button. And then now it's gonna tell you how much ETH you're going to receive. And just like when you swap using the Tangem app, you're going to need the network's native currency in your wallet to initiate and complete the swap. So I will need enough ETH in my wallet to cover the blockchain transaction fee. And assuming I have that, I would just go through the same process, hit review swap and continue and then complete the swap using my Tangem wallet. Now, what if I wanna do a cross-chain swap that I can't do in the Tangem app? Well, you can also use decentralized exchanges um, like Pondex to do cross-chain swaps. So I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so to do a cross-chain swap, we're still going to use Pondex.com, but we wanna to go to Pondex.com forward slash bridge. And this will bring us to the cross-chain swap page. And from here, you can select the chain and token that you wanna swap from, and of course two. So I just tap here. Let's say I wanna swap the Ethereum network from the Ethereum network, and I wanna swap some ETH. And let's say I wanna swap my ETH to um, something on the Polygon network, let's just say Matic. So here you can see I'm swapping ETH on Ethereum to Matic on Polygon, and I only have like $3 in my account, so it's not going to let me do it. Um, let's see. Let's just say I wanted to do $3 worth of ETH and turn that into Matic. Here is going to show me the swap process. Um, of course, I'm going out to connect my wallet again and go through the same steps. But once you connect your wallet, you'll be able to review the swap, initiate the transaction and confirm it in the Tangem app, just like you do with a normal swap. And it will take a little longer doing cross-chain swaps, always takes longer because it has to exchange it. So this could take upwards of 15 minutes um, if you click on this arrow, it'll give you some more info about how long it should take and the fees that should be expected. Um, but you can also do cross-chain swaps using a decentralized exchange. And swapping crypto in your Tangem wallet is literally that simple. You can either do it in the app or connect it to a decentralized exchange like I showed you. And of course, there are a ton of other things that you can do with the Tangem wallet that is also really simple. I have an entire playlist right here dedicated to uh, learning about the Tangem wallet. If you want to learn more about it, make sure to check out that playlist. I'll see you there. Peace.